Okay, Statue Hunter 75 coming here to you with a new Kotobukiya Street Fighter Bijujo PVC statue of Rainbow Mika. Of course, it's based on the artwork of Shunya Yamashita, like all the Kotobukiya Bijujo statues. Uh, once again, I've mentioned it before, Bijujo in Japanese means beautiful girl. So it's of all females. There's the top, saw the front of the box, the side of the box, the back of the box, which shows in the background the artwork of Shunya Yamashita, and then the actual statue itself. And then available now, Obuki. It's funny, it doesn't say coming soon for the next one. I hope that doesn't mean they're stopping them. That would really suck. Because I know there are other female characters they can do. Hopefully not, but we'll see. And that's the other side, just the artwork. And we can see, I don't know, to be honest, let's look at the statue. I don't think she translated as nicely to three dimension as the others. Uh, it's okay. You can see the artwork next to the actual statue itself. So the 2D... And then the 3D version. It just... Um, the others translated more nicely. This It's just such an awkward pose she's in. She's a silly character uh, to begin with. I mean, that's just how Capcom created her. And Street Fighter. As a character, she's one of the funnier ones. Like Dan. But... Um, uh I, I I think they could have done a little bit of a better pose, but I don't know. That's that's just my opinion. It's still a nice piece. I like it. Don't get me wrong. It came out fairly nice. I think it's. I do think it's better than the Yamato uh, version of this character, which I also have, and I'll compare them side by side later. Uh, just to look at details, she's holding her obviously wrestling announcer's microphone. Uh, the character is a wrestler. She, in Street Fighter uh, lore, she, you know, teams up with Zangief as a tag team partner. And Zangief's a Russian wrestler. I mean, it's a sexy piece. It's, you know, typical anime style. Pin-up's nice. It looks good. Um, but... Let's let's put her side by side with the uh, with the uh, Yamato version, which is a different company other than Code of Ukiya. Um, it's an older version. I think both poses are silly, uh, well, awkward poses. Uh, I think the detail on the Code of Ukiya one looks much better, like the hair and everything. The Yamato one. I mean, they're both. If you like the character, they're both nice. Uh, the Yamato one seems to have a little bit more of like a shiny metallic paint. I actually, I side by side, I like the Kota Bakio one more, of course. I mean, I guess the Kota Bakio one isn't as bad as I thought. Seeing it next to the Yamato one. I mean, and granted, the Yamato one's older too. So... To be fair, obviously the newer one's probably going to come out better, and it did. And they, there you see the artwork. I, like I said, I always display my uh, Street Fighter Pujojos with the uh, option that shows the artwork and the base. Um, they always give you two of these plastic discs, one with just the Street Fighter logo and one with the logo and the Shunya Yamashita artwork of the character. So, it's a cool piece. Let's get rid of the Yamato one because this is a review of the Code of Akira one. It is a cool piece. Um, like I've mentioned in the past, they've already come out with Kami, Chun Li, Sakura, Poison, um, Ibuki. Uh, I'm trying to think if, any, if I'm missing any of them. Well,. I'll show you them all together at the end of this review. Just 
just for one update. Give you a few more spins of her. It is a nice piece. I was being a little critical in the beginning. I, I like it. It's not bad. So there you have it. Rainbow Mika. Um, Kotobukiya Bajojo from Street Fighter. Based on the artwork of Shunya Yamashita. All right, now I'll show you them all set up and all on display together. And of course, we have my Street Fighter set up. I just wanted to show you guys up close the um, Pajujos from Kotobukiya. I was mentioning earlier they came out with Kami, Chun Li, um, Sakura, Jury. I forgot to mention Jury. Poison, Ibuki, and now Rainbow Mika. And then just a little, you can see the rest of the small Street Fighter setup. Obviously, I have the biggest Street Fighter Pop Culture Shock setup displayed separately. But this is just my little clutter. There you see the Yamato, uh, Poison, Ibuki, and Rainbow Mika. Uh, and then we have the Udon busts. And Bison, Chun Li, Pink, and then of course way in the back, Shinokuma, Akuma. Got my Hot Toy setups. Uh, John Matrix from Commando. Obviously, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Daisy Ridley as Ray. Farm Boy Luke. I have to add the Death Trooper, which I haven't opened or unboxed yet. And then Darth Vader, and of course his grandson Kylo Ren. All Hot Toys. Love them all. They all the Hot Toys are amazing. They look so realistic. Then in the back we got Soldier 76. From, um, oh my god, Overwatch and uh, Drake. Nathan Drake from Uncharted. And we got, of course, Morgan. And Felicia in the back there from Dark Stalkers. And then of course Akuma, the one six scale Akuma figure, and then some DC stuff in the corner. And of course the Soda Toys, Jerry Macaluso's uh T Hawk, which was a great piece, and uh, I got that for a great price at a local comic shop. I couldn't pass it up. And then of course we have all the soda Street Fighter statues in the middle. We have some Sume statues of PVC statues of Chun Li and Vega, a soda, Morgan and uh, Lilith, and like I said, the Yamato ones, and the rest of the Soda Street Fighter statues and some Chiseltown Studio statues. Now that Jerry did Oni Akuma, um, I might be potting with this Oni Akuma. If anyone's interested, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to. <clears throat> maybe make a deal all right guys hope you enjoyed and then of course at the bottom there we got the big boy toys um the next contender challenger series ryu ken guile and chun li and i can't wait for akuma's to come up that one looks amazing i didn't buy a blank or a doll scene. i just don't have room for all of them so i'll definitely be getting akuma's of course all right guys have a good night